up everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. It's your host Alex and for another week filling in for Taylor Audet, I am. my favorite, Caitlin Fashe is back in the studio today. I'm excited to be here for another week. Yes, and we came looking like some cotton candy today and I love it, right? We are sporting the neon summer colors today. Yeah, I feel like that's a better way to say it. Yeah. Summer has arrived in yes, our wardrobe. It has. And it's amazing, right? I love it. So we have a great show for you today. The amazing Bryce Vine will be later on the show today, which he had his face wrapped on a bus. I mean, not his face, but his Debut album, Carnival, the album cover was yeah. wrapped around a bus and he gave us a tour of LA. That's honestly goals. Like, I mean, literally, right? That's so cool, yeah. So stay tuned for that later in the show. But first up, we have to talk about what's happening. What is happening? I felt like a cheerleader there. <laughs> All right, so a lot is happening in the music world. Our girl, Ariana Grande, teased a new song earlier this week called Boyfriend with Social House. I, okay, well, rewind. The video that she posted was so short. Like, I was- You don't even know you what don't you're know watching. You don't know what's going on, what's happening. When I first saw it, I was like, what is this? Right. And then I kept rewatching. I'm excited. I know. So this is, of course, coming out tomorrow, August 2nd, yes. with Social House, who did her ultimate hit, Thank You, Next. Next. Yes. So we know it's going to be good. It's going to be epic. It's called Boyfriend, so there's going to be some drums. I mean, you see her kind of arguing with a guy yes. in the clip, but we don't know what's going on, so I'm very excited. Do you think she's dating one of the Social House boys? I don't know, but we could, like, could that, maybe like, that could start be that here. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying because it's called Boyfriend. Maybe one of them is her boyfriend. I know. That is some tea, but I mean, we want Ariana to be happy. So if she's happy with one of them, I'm happy. I know. That'd be cool. So she also posted a black and white selfie with the caption, you ain't my boyfriend. <laughs> and in yeah. the post, she tags Social House as well as Alfredo Flores and Hannah Davis, who, as we know, have both directed previous music videos for her. So yes. this is going to be good. Hannah Davis is a boss. I know. I love her. So cool. She, I mean, of course, we love empowered females. Yes. And the girl is killing the director game as yes. a female director. So props to her. Can't wait to see how this video comes out. And it seems that Ariana is also plugging her recent collaboration with Givenchy because she shows her wearing Givenchy in the little tee she posted, and she tweeted another photo saying, I even wear Givenchy in my videos. So. She's honestly iconic. It's she's so iconic. She's like, I am a queen, and I'm here to I'm here to show you. <laughs> Here's my great outfit. Yeah. How you see my collab. Yeah, like, and check out my new song coming out tomorrow. <laughs> like, here it is on a silver platter for you. I love it. Well, we are here for it, and can't wait for tomorrow. So let us know in the comments below what you think of Ariana's new song. I'm excited I to I can't hear wait it. to see it. Yes. And speaking of music, Caitlin, the music event of the summer for country fans, CMA Fest finally airs this weekend, August 4th on ABC, and I am ready to put my boots on and sing some country, right? Yes, and I love that Thomas Rhett is one of the hosts. I'm like such a fan of him and his family. I follow him on Instagram. Everything about him and him being a host, I feel like that's just kind of epic. I know, so him and Kelsey Ballerini, of course, are hosting the show for the second time in a row. Hosting the concert, should I say. Yes. So this took place in Nissan Stadium back in June. Uh, I had the chance you to were there. see yeah. some of the excitement around the festival in Nashville and catch up with with Jordan Davis, I mean, you name it, Kane Brown, we saw at CMT Awards, a bunch of the excitement around the CMA Fest. Uh, we were in the mix, but I'm excited to see the final product on ABC this weekend. And there's a bunch of amazing performers, so I'm super excited to watch. Yeah, definitely. As I mentioned earlier, Kane Brown, Marin Morris, Florida Georgia Line, Miranda Lampert, I mean, Luke Bryan, Shake it, country, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know the song. Wait. But, okay, wait. Something I am really excited for is Little Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, and special guest Keith Urban. That is going to be epic. Keith Urban is like king of country, in my opinion. He, I mean, what a collaboration. Yeah. Also, Carrie Underwood and the iconic Joan Jett 
will be singing yes. some of her songs. So this is a show you want to watch. And speaking of Old Town Road, we have to say a big congratulations to Little Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus for their song Old Town Road becoming the longest running number one Billboard Hot 100 hit. I mean, that is just amazing, right? I was expecting it. From the second I heard it, I was like, this is a bop. It's this super song, good. Amazing as it first came out, but it has not gone away. Yeah. It's here to stay, right? Yeah. So For years to come. So make sure you catch it. Caitlin and I will definitely be watching. We will. <laughs> make sure you catch it on ABC and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We are very excited for that to premiere, right? Yes, we are. Some other things we're excited to premiere. Annie LeBlanc shared a little, actually she reposted someone's Instagram teasing season five of Chicken Girls. I'm, I, I have to say, I'm a Chicken Girls stan. Yeah. I literally love it. And I got to catch up with them and interview them as season four was ending and Harmony, which is Haley LeBlanc's character, is going into high school. So right. she's going to be joining all the older girls. I can't wait to see how all of that plays out. I know, it's very exciting. So make sure you catch season five of Chicken Girls premiering September 3rd. Yes. But not only are we getting a new season of Chicken Girls, the Brat Network just announced their fourth movie, Intern in Chief, starring yes. Annie LeBlanc and Kiana nice. Naomi, right? Yes. So honestly, Brad is giving all of the Annie LeBlanc fans what they want. It's content after content, movie after show. She's also in A Girl Named Joe. Annie LeBlanc's a busy girl. She is a busy girl and a sweetheart, very yes. talented. So congrats on all of that. That premieres later this month, August 23rd on YouTube. Yes. So get excited for that, right? Yep, we have a lot of things we need to watch. We do, but the next thing we have to watch is something we did over the weekend. Yes. We hung out with the amazing Bryce Vine and took a tour of La La Land in honor of his major label debut, album Carnival and so some of the songs that you've heard La La Land as I mentioned Drew, Drew Barry I was just about to start singing it you're the next Drew, Drew Barry woo and I want more <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing I love it. we caught up with him we stopped at some of the most nostalgic places for him around LA. Of course, the Roxy, where he had his first show. Oh, that's cool. We stopped by One Oak, which is a lyric in La La Land. And of course, we had to make a stop at Drew Barrymore's house. That's pretty epic. Right? I literally love that. That's super cool. And then we ended the tour at Shake Shack and got some burgers because we were hungry yeah. after that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so take a look at what Bryce had to say all about his new album and what next celebrity he'd name a song after. Ooh. Take a look at it right now. What's up everyone, Alex Schiffman here, hanging out with the king of La La Land. Did you see my bus? And my old friend, Bryce Vine. Hey. And I am Did so- Did you see my bus? Oh, okay. Bryce just wants you to see his name. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be low key about it. amazing <laughs> bus. We're just being low key, taking a tour around LA today, right? Yeah, yeah we have known each other for years, it's crazy. I know, but it's like coming full circle. Yeah. We're back in LA where we've grown up, but this hey. is very exciting. Carnival is out, your debut album. Yeah. So tell me, how are you feeling right now? Uh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing? Yeah, I'm feeling great. This is a great day. All my best friends like are here too. This is sick, man. We got a lot of cool people and um, I'm, I'm stoked. Just trying to keep it all together, you know? Okay, so let's talk about the album. Okay. So how would you describe the vibe of this album? I wanted to make a soundtrack for people just living their lives. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So would you have a favorite song on the album? Uh, I think hey, Love Me, Hate Me. It's Love like me, the first like me. real sad song that I wrote, but then Deep in Shallow Water, which is just kind of like, it bangs, which is fun. Yeah, and we love all the success you've obviously had on Drew Barrymore. Thank you. But why Drew Barrymore? Because she's like, Hollywood royalty, I guess, you know? It's like Aubrey Hepburn is like too far back a reference. Right. But she is, she's like, I've watched her since I was a kid in E.T. and then in like The Wedding Singer, which is kind of like the Drew I'm talking about, you yeah. know? Yeah, the old school Drew. Yeah. So if you were gonna make a sequel to Drew Barrymore, what celebrity will we name it now? Tess Thompson. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so for sure. So coming next, when will that song be out? Uh, May 2020. <laughs> I love that. Right. So you've been touring a lot. Yeah. Right? Nonstop, man. So tell me your funniest fan encounter you've had so far. Uh, 
There was a kid who was like super shy when I met him, but he was standing right in the front of the crowd. There was like 900 people. Like I had to work for years to figure out, like to feel comfortable on stage. And yeah. this guy who I had already met was kind of awkward. Callaway Mills is his name. He like turned, I threw him the mic because he was singing all the words and he grabbed it and like turned around to the whole crowd and like was like and banging before? with them and people were like hyping him up and oh shit. My God, yeah, it's it was amazing. sick. Yeah, it was super sick. How fun. <laughs> I was like, this kid just like has it like that. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so we're performing at the Fonda tonight. Yeah. So is this cool? You're kind of back in your hometown. Do we have friends, family coming? Yeah, I mean my my some of my best friends are here, the guys that I work with and all these beautiful people here that just showed up, all the the influentials. The influentials yes. are here. So what can fans expect tonight? Um, a lot of energy. Like, from what we've seen, we just played He's in San Fran. He's pressing his energy right now during you the interview so he can you give have it to. all out. Right? You have to, especially if we're gonna go spend four hours on a bus. <laughs> with no AC, apparently. Yeah, I know, we just this heard This is going to be no brutal, for sure. Stuff. <laughs> well, let's talk about the tour. We're going to some yeah. nostalgic places. We're stopping by the Roxy, where you had your first show, yeah. right? Yeah, we're going to pass by Drew Barrymore's house. Drew Barrymore's Just house. Just holler at Bay, yeah. <laughs> Say hello, what's up? <laughs> Invite her to the show. Yeah. And then we're going to One Oak. We us. are, of course. You can't you can't stop in LA without going to One Oak. And then we're finishing at Shake Shack. So is that your food of choice? I like it better than In-N-Out. That, that's yeah. true. It is I, better, I like right? it better, yeah. All right, so what's coming up? What can we look forward to? I know you're going on a bunch of festival shows and... Uh, yeah, so we're just, yeah, a couple festivals. Um, we're doing some more album release shows uh, in New York and Philly and DC after tonight. And then I'll just write more music. Yeah. Yes. Write yeah. your next Tess Thompson song, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> you know. I love that. Okay, and lastly, where do you see yourself in five years, Bryce? Uh, in five years? Yeah. I didn't see this a year ago, so uh, hopefully like traveling the world, doing the same thing with the same people and just growing the uh, the love, man. Growing the love, growing yeah. the Bryce Fine love. All right, well, let's go hop on the bus. Yes. Let's go have some fun, right? Yes. All right. Yes. I love it. Okay, we'll Did see you see later. my bus? Did you see his name Did on his bus? Did you see it? It's Amazing. Right. His you might have missed it. Over there, you missed it. It hides right, cool. in plain sight. Oh wait, all right, yeah, okay, all right, all right, let's go on the bus. Hey, you're on candid camera. Look at this. Welcome to Amazing. my crib. Double decker. We got a whole bunch of chips. Bunch uh, you want to see the top floor? Yeah, let's go. The penthouse. The penthouse. <laughs> what up, boys? We're excited. Isn't this all the swag? We have some fanny packs. And I'm going to give some, uh, some information at the front about the city and the landmarks. <laughs> right, and, perfect. Yeah. Do you have your like tour guide name? Uh, Besides, are you just we're just Bryce Fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't think of it. <laughs> you didn't plan. Bill. Bill. Bill will be doing the tour today. Bill Vine. <laughs> okay, perfect. We sold out, guys. Bryce is just so amazing. Of course, I've known him for many years, but he is just killing it, and I'm very proud of him. He is, and Tess Thompson, that is a great person to have your next song be about. Yes, definitely. But if you have another song you'd like to write, you can write it about me. You can name it <laughs> Calyx. Right? I love that. I know. Calyx. Kind of like okay. Calyx. Okay. But until Bryce's next song, I guess that's all we have for the show today. It is. But you guys have a lot of stuff to keep busy with this weekend. You can also go and binge all of the Sweet Pea TV episodes, which you should be watching, right? Yes, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday, right? We will. All right, bye. Bye.